say hi everybody welcome back to my channel this is Timmy my helper for the day um, I'll let you go now Timmy thank you for helping um, so Timmy's our official helper for this video um, it's been a little bit longer than I had originally hoped before I got to talk to you again um, part of that is because I was out of town for a good solid week um, and then as soon as I got back I probably got sick um, so the last week has been trying to recover trying to get my voice back trying to stop sneezing and snarfling every time I close my eyes um, so fingers crossed I don't have any coughing jags or anything um, I have my water I have some tissue um, actually toilet paper because I always forget to buy tissues so I just grab a roll of toilet paper um, classy um, so let's dive right in so that way this is not an hour-long video um, so I did pick 10 things for my January favorites. It's just a product that I've been gravitating towards or, you know, it might be something that's new to me but older on the market. Um, so it's just things that I've been reaching for a lot and really enjoying or that really surprised me this month. Um, so the first two things are actually from the same company um, and that is Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So the first thing that I have from Jeffree Star Cosmetics is one of his Velour Lip Scrubs. Um, I was really surprised by how much I like this. I have a well, I, I say I have, I had a ton of lip scrubs, um, but I think I have decluttered all of them except one since getting this um, because it's just that it's that good. Um, I have the scent and flavor because it is edible as well. How cool is that? Uh, cherry Cola. Um, I'm not sure what collection this is from. It's a very like gritty, thick, sugary scrub. Um, so it literally feels like granules of sugar. Like if you've ever had a margarita with sugar around the rim, that's what it feels like and that's kind of what it smells like too um it definitely smells like cherry cola it tastes like cherry candy um sorry let me just get the rest of that off my finger um it's in insanely good it's not as like thick and goopy as some other lip scrubs it doesn't feel super like waxy like somebody just melted a crayon and put some sugar in there this one actually feels like sugar that's just gotten a little bit wet and gotten tacky um so I'm super, super impressed with this. The second thing um, from Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, that I got is kind of like a, well, let's see, you know, I like the lip scrub, let's try a couple of other things, um, where I got a set of his mini velour liquid lipsticks. I got the pinks and reds set. I apologize if you hear something flapping around in the background. That's Timmy now running around the room in circles um, and like throwing stuff as he runs. So if you hear that, that's Timmy. Um, and this is the shade Wifey. So it's like a nice blue red. Um, again, little package, um, about standard size, fits in you know purse nicely. But what really stunned me about this um, was when I was in California, there was a performance day that we had. Um, so we got ready like three in the afternoon. Performance took a couple hours. Then we went for drinks, had two glasses of wine. Then we went for dinner, had another drink there and obviously had food there. Got back to the hotel, it was still on. Then I forgot to wash off my makeup, bad me. Um, but anyway, I forgot to wash off my makeup and the next morning it was still there. This thing easily lasted over 12 hours and it didn't feather, it didn't bleed, it didn't leave that like ring around my mouth. Um, so I was shocked. My mom who was with me was shocked at how well this stayed in place. Um, so yeah, the staying power on these is really incredible and my lips did not feel like sandpaper the next day. Um, so even though it is a matte liquid lipstick, it's not insanely drying any more than, you know, like a standard tube red lipstick would be. Um, so yeah, I was very surprised and very impressed with that. So this definitely gets a nice mention. There's actually a picture that I will post um, in my Instagram with like the promo for this video where I'm actually wearing a couple products actually I think three yeah three of the products that will be featured in this video including this it's me drinking out of a little cat cup um, that picture was taken at dinner so way later in the evening you can see the lipstick is still there um, so Jeffree Star Cosmetics has definitely gotten a gold star from me for January so moving on, another thing that is in that same picture um, is actually the Cover FX Gripping Primer. And Tati Westbrook had just done her video on this primer, as well as another primer from Cover FX that they just released. Um, and you know, I saw it and I thought, okay, you know, gripping primer, 
okay, yeah, I'm a sweater. That seems like that might be a good idea. Let's try it. Um, again, you know, I figured if it didn't work for me, I could always, you know, gift it to somebody um, because it does have a little squeezy tip on the top. I'm not like scooping my fingers in there or anything. Um, but I was really impressed. Um, again, as a sweater, makeup sometimes slides right off my face if I'm not wearing the right primer. Um, and I tend to go from, as I have combination to drier skin, I tend to go from like looking like Sahara Desert when I've powdered my face to within a couple hours, my face looks so oily. And that did not happen at all with this primer. I don't think I had any oil show through at all. Um, I did not look like a sweaty mess. Um, and actually, I think if anything, it may have actually kept me from sweating a little bit. It's a little hard to tell because it was colder in California. Um, but it did seem to affect that as well. I'm definitely interested in giving this a lot more chances. I had no breakouts from it. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely impressed with this primer so far. Um, again, the premise is that it's gripping, so it creates like a sticky base for your foundation to stick to. Um, the back says a unique jelly texture that creates a smooth glass-like finish on the skin and grips makeup for a flawless application and long wear, perfect for all skin types. I don't know if I'd recommend it if you have like crazy, crazy dry or actually if you have crazy oily skin this probably might work well but if you have crazy crazy dry skin you might not like it because it does have a stickier texture um but i'm impressed with it so far um i've only tried a few cover fx things they're not a brand that i go for a whole lot but i'm glad i gave this one a little try um, and i will link tati's video on this down in the description box below along with a list of all these products and then like the links to where you can find them um so that's the third product for the month is from Tarte. It is their Friction Stick, F-R-X-X-X-T-I-O-N stick. And what it is, is it's a stick exfoliator. Um, so it's in like a little deodorant roll-up stick, and you just kind of put it on your face um, and then exfoliate like normal. What's nice about it is because it is in a stick form, you don't overuse the product, which is super easy to do with exfoliators. And if you have sensitive skin, exfoliators are kind of like your nemesis. <laughs> um, it's really easy to overuse and become really red and irritated. Um, so you don't overuse the product because it's in a stick form. Um, you get a lot of product. I think I got this in August of last year and look at how much is left in that and I keep this thing in my shower so every time I shower about not every time probably every other time I use it um, and also I really like how finely milled whatever the exfoliant in here is it feels really really smooth and really I don't want to say gritty because all exfoliators would feel gritty right um, it feels very fine and very almost like sand-like uniform. It's not like the St. Ives scrub where it's like chunks of shells and sharp crap from apricots and almonds and stuff in there. It's something that's very finely milled um, and a lot more gentle on the skin while still getting like a nice clean feeling. Um, so that's the Tarte Friction Stick. Uh, that is available at Sephora and on Tarte's website, I know. Um, the Cover FX Primer is available at Ulta and Sephora and probably on Cover FX's website. Um, the second skincare product that I have is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup 3-in-1 Melting Cleansing Balm. So what it is, is it comes in a tub like this, and you unscrew the cap, and you can see how much I've used of this. Um, and what it is, is it's a cleansing balm meaning that it's like an oil-based cleanser in a like lip balm kind of like suspension um, so what it is is it's like a coconut oil it's not coconut oil you could use coconut oil as a cleansing balm or an oil cleanser is you get some in your fingers kind of rub it together to melt it a little bit and then rub it on your face um, and then kind of rinse it off just like you kind of wash your face like normal um, so I do a two-step cleanse I do an oil cleanse with something like this um, and then I do a regular cleanse with like a regular face cleanser um, to get rid of, you know, the oil cleanse helps get rid of oil, makeup residue, things like that. Um, I really like this. I really thought I would hate oil cleansing because it just feels like, the sound of it sounds like it would feel like you're like suffocating your skin. Um, but this is really lightweight. Um, it doesn't leave a residue. It's not hard to rinse off. Um, so it's one of those products that kind of changed my mind about the whole oil cleanse thing. Um, and I am towards the bottom of it. Uh, I do have another uh, oil cleansing balm to get through. 
um, or that I got to try, um, but I would absolutely repurchase this. Um, so this is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup Cleansing Balm. This is available at Sephora, I know, as well as on It Cosmetics website, uh, and it might even be at Ulta. Um, but yeah, I'm. this stuff is awesome. Um, okay, I have a couple more little things and then a couple larger things. Um, so one thing that is actually in my project pan that has made its way into my January favorites because I do keep reaching for it is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Lip Gloss in the shade Everything. Um, I found myself reaching for this even on like no makeup days when I just want a little bit of lip color, a little bit of something tacky on my lips. Um, I will absolutely use this up in no time. This thing is great. And it's a super flattering color. Um, I don't think I swatched it in my project pan video, so let me just put a little bit on my hand. Yeah, so it's like the perfect like plum rosy shade. Let me kind of, hopefully that's not just like crazy blurry and nuts, but um, so that's the shade everything. Uh, I'm really liking that. This is one of the things in my project pan that is just flying along um, and I'm sure we'll be making its way into the empties uh, box in a fair fairly short order. So that has worked its way in. Uh, the Essence Satin Touch Blush is another product that I've been reaching for a lot. This is crazy cheap. It's like, I want to say $2.99 or $3.99 at Ulta. Um, and Essence is definitely a smaller brand. Um, they do have a website that has more stuff on it than is at Ulta or on the Ulta website. Um, but this is a blush. The color is Satin Love. Um, Again, it's just kind of that perfect nude color. It's a little bit like on a pinkier, rosier side. Um, so again, I'll swatch that kind of for comparison, but I don't know how much that's gonna show up. Oh, actually not too bad. So the blush is right there next to the lip gloss. Um, I'm loving the Slim Compact. I'm loving how small it is. It goes on really flawlessly. It's not shiny, it's not overly matte. It's just, you know, it's, it's one of those products I just kind of glommed onto this month and used over and over. Um, so it's the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. Does Satin Love have a number? It's shade 20, Satin Love. Okay, so if it looks like I moved around in the frame or my hair is different, that's because I just discovered that the camera turned off on me at some point. So I'm going to go back and pick up from where it cut off. Product number eight in my January favorites is this AOA Studio Perfect Pressed Highlighter. And this is actually the product that made me want to do a January favorites because this is a dollar. Like seriously, this product costs a dollar and it is freaking stunning. It's the shade Empress and it's like a white gold. Um, and I've already swatched it on my hand once, um, but we'll just add a little bit more to it. So I don't know if you can see it reflecting there. It is also in that picture where I'm drinking out of the cat cup. It is the highlighter that I'm wearing in that picture. And I was just genuinely stunned at how reflective and how blinding this highlighter is for paying a dollar. Like there are, you know, higher end highlighters that I don't think, you know, have as much bang for their buck as this one, especially considering it is a buck. Um, and I got this off shop Miss A, which if you are unfamiliar with that website, everything there is about a dollar. Uh, but AOA Studio is like their cosmetic brand and most of the better cosmetic products that I've tried off of there come out of their AOA Studio line. Go check this out. This is like hidden treasure. And look at the size of that pan. That's ginormous. Um, so yeah, this is the AOA Perfect Pressed Highlighter in the shade Empress. It is a white gold. It's a dollar. Go buy it. You will not regret it. So product number nine is an eyeshadow palette. And this is the Soph X and Makeup Revolution palette. So this is a collaboration that Makeup Revolution did with Soph Does Nails, who's another beauty blogger or beauty YouTuber here on YouTube. Um, and this is her Extra Spice palette that's just really drawn to the color theory, to the color story on this. They're not colors that you see a lot, and it was a very fall, you can see swatches on my hand already, and it was just a very fall inspired palette. And I thought, well, I've never tried a lot for Makeup Revolution, let's try it, see what happens. Um, and the color payoff was really impressive when I tried it. Um, I used this a lot towards the end of my 30 day um, makeup challenge on Instagram. Um, and I also took this palette with me to California. And I'm just, 
this is a really good palette for $15. Um, so I do have some swatches here on my hand. Let me darken that one a little bit. So I swatched four of the colors. I swatched vitamin C, which is the color on the left, the yellow. Well, my left, your right. Uh, so vitamin C is the yellow. Sweet and sour is the orange. 21 is the red, which I think is kind of the like pop out star, you know, when people look at this palette. Um, but it's, it's pretty good color payoff. And then infinity is that like foiled silver. Um, so that's just four of the shades. There are 18 in here total. Let me try and block the mirror so I don't blind the camera. Um, again, I'm really impressed with this palette. Um, I did go out and buy her first collaboration with them. So who knows that may be in February favorites. So makeup revolution and soap X or soap does nails. Great job. I'm, I'm impressed. And then last but not least, uh, it's not a makeup product, but it is makeup related. And that is my elf cosmetics brush holder. This is their large brush holder. This is $15 on their website and it's a nice thick sturdy plastic. There's three different containers in here. So it's divided into three little compartments. I had been using just like an office supply holder um, and everything got so smashed together and I couldn't tell anything apart. I've been searching for about a year for a new brush holder and nothing, nothing fit my requirements. Everything was either way too small or way too gigantic, like fishbowl size. Um, so then around Christmas when they had about 20% off their website, I picked this up thinking worse comes to worse, I use it for pens and pencils. Um, and I'm really impressed. I'm really happy with it. Um, I may actually pick up another one next time I notice that they're having a sale. It says eyes, lips, face on it, which is really cute. It's basic black. It is a matte finish, which is nice. Um, and it just holds everything really well. I can dig around, pull things out as I need them. Uh, nothing is super, super cramped, except maybe the center compartment, but that's more my fault than theirs. Um, so yeah, I'm really impressed with this. So that rounds out my top 10 for January even though it is mid-February. I'm already working on my February favorites. Um, I do plan to have that up way before March 15th. Uh, I plan to have that up around the 1st of March, maybe 2nd or 3rd. Um, and again, I am hoping to have a better schedule for you guys around here, um, something more consistent. Um, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, you know, what are the things that you've been loving so far this year, either in January or because it is mid-February in the first part of February. Um, and then thank you to Timmy for being my helper today. Um, each video might feature a different cat. I don't know. I'm trying to get them to do that. We'll see how that works. It's not like they, you know, are very picky creatures that have minds of their own. Um, but my mom said that I need to like make them official members of the channel. So I'm going to try and get them to do more little cameos. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.